Welcome to FreeCAD new session. In this session, we will learn essential setting for the FreeCAD drawing. So here is a simple part, and I have activated my Take Draw Workbench. I will go here and insert a default page. So you can see that default page has been inserted here. Now we will see the essential settings for the drawing so for this go to the edit and then go to the preferences and click on here take draw so once you click on the take draw you will get the settings options for this take draw workbench so first one is a journal one and first one is a drawing update so keep as it default then second option is a label under label we get the two option label font and size so label font is is the available font you can change the font of your drawing and at the same time you can also increase or decrease the font size then conventions conventions first option is a projection angle group either you want first angle or third angle projections you will get here the both the options and depend upon here's setting as a first or third angle you will get the default view placement as per the setting if I place here first angle then whenever I place the my view I will get the first angle in fact you can change this later also while we you using the view placement and second one is the hidden style you can show hidden line as a continuous or dash so I would recommend go with dash then uh, here is a file here is a default template if you have a customized template for example you have replaced this free CAD logo with your company logo and you can modify this template and you can set a default for path for your temp you can modify the existing free CAD drawing template and create your own template and you can set here your default template path now here is option of a grid if you if you prefer drawing with grid here is option of a grid you can use the grid option for your drafting now we will move to the next option called scale so here page scale is 1 means whenever I place the view it will be default 1 raised to 1 scale then view scale type is a page you can set your scale for the whole page or you can set auto or custom then uh, view custom view scale here is also available then size adjustment so keep this setting as per default so when once you place the view you can also adjust it for example vertex scale is 3 center mark scale is 5 so you can increase or decrease the center mark scale so once we place the view we will come to this setting again then dimensions here is a various type of a dimension style is available so I would prefer ISO oriented then uh, dimension format font size tolerance text scale keep setting as it is then here is a annotation tab and here we will get more options related to our drawings for example sections line dash if you want to show the sections line in the form of dot you can change here section line standard ISO or NC you can set here then line width you can increase or decrease the line width as per your drawing so these settings basically applicable on your part size then colors then here is a center line colors if you are not to give the particular line a different color for example dimension line I want to give blue so I can change blue 
or center line if I want to give red then I can change the red and these settings will be applied to your drawing now here is the option of a hidden line removal so keep as it is and in advanced sections we will keep the settings as it is now we will learn how to place the view of a part so for this I will insert a default page and I will set my part orientations to the front and then I will click on insert projection group for select part then click on the projection group and here you will get the option of a first angle and third angle so I will prefer for the third angle and I will select the position I want I want top I want right and I want bottom and I will keep this X and Y spacing as default and I will say OK so once I click on OK and I will move to my drawing tab so my drawing views has been inserted here so this is how to place the views in FreeCAD and now we will see some option related with our drawing template so for here the template sections the green dots which we are seeing here we can easily edit it for example here is a scale so here on the scale option I can give my scale here 1 raised to 1 so you can see that it has been changed if part weight is a 500 gram or 1 kg I can simply give my weight here 1 kg I can give some drawing numbers so these green dots are editable you can easily edit it and we can also change this free CAD logo as an SVG file if you have uh, your company logo in the form of SVG you can replace it and now we are seeing the borders of, of our view here front top right and bottom we can easily hide it so to hide the borders we can see here the option of a turn off the frame so once we click on the turn off the frame we can hide and unhide our frames so these frames are very useful to move the view positions once you off the frame you will not be to move your views now here on the now we will see some dimensioning method so here is a horizontal dimension method so for the dimensioning first select the vertex point for example I select this point and my this point and click on horizontal dimension so horizontal dimension is inserted if I want to give vertical dimension then I I have to select this vertex point and this vertex point this point and this point and I will select on vertical so the vertical dimension has been inserted if I want to give diameter dimensions to my hole then I will select the circumference and diameter tool so diameter dimension has been inserted here if I want to give the angular dimension for these two edges so I will select these two edges and click on angular dimension so angle dimension has been inserted here I want to give the positions so I will select the center marks and this edge and I will give horizontal dimensions same way for the circle position I will select this horizontal and center marks and I will give the vertical dimension
to define this point I simply select these two points and I will give vertical dimensions in side view I will give the overall overall dimensions so I will select I can also select this line and I can give my dimension so this is all about this sessions basic settings of a uh, free cat drawings with the help of a tech draw workbench thank you for watching